St. Louis County hasn't released its autopsy report on Michael Brown, but the Department of Justice has already ordered a second autopsy as part of its civil rights investigation into Brown's killing. DOJ spokesperson Brian Fallon tweeted Sunday morning that Attorney General Eric Holder ordered the second autopsy at the request of the Brown family. The news from the Justice Department caps off a tumultuous week in Ferguson. There were peaceful protests as well as riots and looting. The St. Louis County Police were relieved of duty and a surveillance video of Brown robbing a convenience store was released to the public. To protect the people and property of Ferguson today, I signed an order declaring a state of emergency and ordering the implementation of a curfew. Saturday, Governor Jay Nixon implemented a midnight to 5 a.m. curfew for the Ferguson area. It was a much smaller protest overnight. It was a small, isolated group that was there to incite the violence. There was a few small, determined group uh, of people who refused to leave. There was resistance to the curfew from some protesters, which resulted in seven arrests. But Nixon says overall there was a positive response. I was heartened last night by the, you know, there are thousands of people there. As the uh, curfew approached, it was the local folks helping us. Nixon did not, however, give a timetable for when the curfew would end. Sunday saw more rallies, with the National Action Network holding a rally at a local church and the NAACP hosting an event at Harris Stowe State University. Also starting Monday, students will be headed back to class from summer vacation. According to KTVI, the students can expect to see extra security and teachers plan to open the floor for discussion on the Ferguson shooting. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrews.